guys, it's Adria. So today I have my July 2015 favorites for you guys as well as some special unboxings from two things from my P.O. box, but we'll get to that at the end, so stay tuned. So as far as the month of July goes, it was kind of boring, kind of uneventful, and I'm sorry if you can hear the guy outside weed whacking or doing something, I don't know. Let's start off with TV show favorites. Okay, so I just found this anime called Gangsta, which my sisters introduced me to. There's only like four or five episodes out right now. It's like relatively new. If you like anime and if you like action stuff, it's basically about gangsters that are like hired to do just like odd jobs and stuff like that. Not only check that out if you like anime slash manga. Manga, don't get mad at me if I say it wrong. I've always said manga, I, yeah. <laughs> and a song favorite is a song that my mom sent to me when I was like having a bad night. She sent me the link to the song. Hold on a minute. Okay, so the song is called Just Be Held by Third Day. And as far as Christian music goes, Third Day is probably one of my top favorite bands, artists, whatever you want to call it for Christian music. They just have such good music. My first favorite of the month are my new sandals. I got these kind of at the end of July, but I just... Oh. So Brandon and I were going to see... Oh, that just reminded me of another favorite. Okay. What is it called? Inside Out. Okay. I'm having like brain problems today. Okay, so we were going to see Inside Out, which was a great movie. Another one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, Inside Out was so good. Can we just talk about Inside Out for a minute? I cried twice at Inside Out. Oh my gosh. Spoilers, if you haven't seen the movie yet, fast forward a few minutes, whatever. I feel like, you know, like once she lost her joy and whatnot, and then things like started to change and like she couldn't help how she was like, I feel like that really captured emotion really well that like you can't just switch it back you can't just choose to be happy again that like it's kind of a process that you have to go through as I'm holding these shoes probably one of my top Pixar movies you know because I'm somebody that has struggled a lot with like guys being right outside my window <laughs> because I've been somebody that has struggled a lot with like emotion m emotional issues I feel like they really portrayed that in a really visual way because we kind of forget that emotions are like a thing because it's not tangible because we can't like see them. I feel like they really did a good job. I give that movie five stars like hats off to you. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be like I didn't think it was going to be bad. I didn't go in there thinking it was going to be bad. I was just like all right it's a Pixar movie. It can't suck because it's Pixar. So anyway we were going to see Inside Out. I guess our movie got pushed back. We were going to like a 6 30 showing and when we got there when they gave us our tickets it said 7 30 and we were like Oh, so we asked them and they're like, oh, the projector is having problems, so it's going to be at 7.30. Luckily, the movie theater was inside a mall, so we just kind of walked around a little bit and I got these shoes. These shoes, girl. Oh my gosh. I've never really had a pair of sandals like this. I have like one and I got them at Plato's Closet, so they were like secondhand kind of. I got these. They were on sale. These were only like... $16 when they were like originally 30. They just have like the sparkles on them and they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. And they fit me like a dream. They're just perfect and I can't. I also got another pair of shoes that were literally $8, but I haven't gotten to wear them yet. Wore, wear? I haven't gotten to wear them yet because they're like flats. They're for more like formal occasions. I don't know. I'm not one of those people that can like casually wear flats. I'm like the converse and sneaker type person. So I haven't worn the flats yet, but whenever I need flats, I don't have them. I'm just like, I don't even have nice shoes. <laughs> my next favorite was my little birthday present to myself. It is my new Betsy Johnson yellow purse. People were asking me where they could find this. Like I got it on Amazon. Just type in like Betsy Johnson jelly plastic purse. I don't know. But they have it in like four different colors. I was kind of stuck whether to get this one or the pink one. And I'm like, I have a million pink purses. I need something different. So I got the yellow and I'm just in love with it. And when I first unboxed it, I was kind of upset that it didn't have pockets on the inside. But I'm one of those people like I'll turn lemons into lemonade, you know. I'm very picky about my purses. They need to have a lot of pockets and zippers and, you know, space to keep things. So I was kind of disappointed that literally when you open it, it's just one big 
thing. But I've discovered that I really kind of like it. <laughs> I have room for everything and everything just kind of fits in here and it doesn't move around. It's, you know, sturdy. It keeps things in place. So I really like that about this purse. That was my birthday present to myself that I got <laughs> early in July. Even though my birthday just passed, I got that weeks ago. So my next favorite has been my GoPro. And I got this for Valentine's Day. Brandon gave it to me for Valentine's Day. But I haven't really like gotten much use out of it because you know for me I'm like oh I gotta go skydiving now and scuba diving and jump out of airplanes with this and yeah. But I've discovered that it's a really good vlogging camera because it's very small and people don't really know that you're filming besides the giant red flash going off. You know filming in public can be a little ooh, this little tiny thing. I mean if you see it like literally fit in the palm of my hand. I have been loving this and... Yeah, I love how tiny it is and I can take it anywhere and it can sit on stuff and it's just great. And I actually took it to the beach and like the waterproof thing, which was pretty cool. So yeah. I have to cool off. I have to cool off for a minute. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how hot it is in here. Like I had the air running before I started filming and then I turned it off and like five minutes into the video I'm like roasted like Oh my gosh, I hate Florida. Florida's an unfavorite for the month because Florida is just awful. Another favorite of mine has been my CoverGirl Clean, what is it, Clean? CoverGirl Clean? Yeah, it's just like a little pressed powder. It's really awesome for the summertime. Actually, I could probably use some of this right now. Yeah, this is really good like if you get kind of like a shiny face from being sweaty or hot or maybe you just naturally have an oily face. This stuff just mattifies your makeup, so. And this is my first video filming after I've gotten my hair done, and it doesn't really look that much different. I mean, you can just kind of see some, like, faint blonde in it. I was kind of hoping it would be more dramatic of a change, but it's not. But I'm just gonna have to live with it. <laughs> my next favorite has been my Bath & Body Works Endless Weekend Diamond Shimmer Mist. This stuff not only smells good, but it makes me so sparkly. Literally, we are in the car, and Brandon looks at me, he's like, are you a vampire? Because I am just... I get, you get so glittery from it. I'm gonna try to show you guys. Mm. Can't really see. Oh my gosh, but it smells so good. And my next favorite has been my Pure Ice Home Run Nail Polish. I feel like I have featured this so many times. People ask me where you can get this. I got this at Walmart, most likely. I love this, and I actually have it on right now, but it's kind of chipped. But I just, I love this. I mean, it's like my favorite color. As you can see, I have a new comforter that is like the same color. I just, I love the mint blue, mint green, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh. And the weather, even though I just like said earlier that I hate Florida, the weather has been really kind of cool lately because it's been raining a lot and I'm one of those people that just love the rain. I don't think that's a weird thing. I feel like a lot of people find relaxation in the rain. I like it when I don't have to go anywhere because... <laughs> Mm. Two weeks ago, Brandon and I were going out to dinner. I feel like we've been going out to dinner a lot lately. We've gone out to dinner like two times in the past like two weeks. So uh, we were going out to dinner. We were getting ready and stuff. It was like in the middle of the afternoon. It was bright and sunny out. Then we go to leave pouring down rain. And I had spent like 30 minutes on my hair, straightening it, putting it up, all that stuff. We go outside. My outfit gets ruined. My shoes get soaked. Like I had to wash my Sperry's because they were just soaked and... It was a mess. So in those cases, I despise the rain and the rain can go away. But when I'm just like chilling at home, I love the rain because then I don't feel like I have to go anywhere. I don't feel like, oh, I should take a walk because it's healthy and nice for you and I'll feel better if I take a walk. No, because it's raining and I can't take a walk. My last favorite of the month was Trident Lair Swedish Fish. Two of my favorite things in the entire world, gum and Swedish fish, combine it into one thing. It tastes just like Swedish fish. If you love Swedish fish, get this. I think as of right now, they only have it at CVS. That is where I found it. I looked for it like at Walmart, couldn't find it there. But if you go to CVS, you should definitely find it. I wish I had gotten more of this. They had it like three for three dollars, but I just got one because I didn't know how good it would be. I wish I had gotten three packs. All right, so now it is time for two little unboxings that two amazing companies were so nice enough to send me to my P.O. box, so I'm gonna be undoing those now. I went to my P.O. box on Sunday. When I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to open them, and but, and but, and but. I was like, no, I have to film the unboxings and first impressions of them, so 
We're gonna do that right now. So first up, we have this little package from Scentbird.com. I don't even want this to be like a bragging way that I get like so many offers to review products and stuff, but I get like frequent offers, like a few times a week I get like uh, business offers and product review offers. I only take the few that like really stand out to me and Scentbird was one of them. They were like, oh go to our website, and, like you fill out a profile, you like pick your top three fragrances, pick your favorite activity, your outdoor activity, your favorite color, and then based on your answers they pick out a bunch of scents that are perfect for you and like I was like, oh this is so cool. I kind of forget which one I picked because I was kind of torn on which one to pick, so I'm kind of like, I don't know which one I picked, but you guys should definitely check out Scentbird. It's really cool. It's like a monthly thing where you pay like an amount of money and they send you a perfume each month, which is so cool. And they have them in like little sample sizes, so you don't get the full thing. And it's completely worth the money because it's, I know it was no more than $20 a month and these are like high-end perfumes, so it's less than what you would pay for an actual perfume so it's a really good deal so let's see what I got because I don't remember look at this it comes in a little scent bird little velvet pouch so you can carry it how convenient is that look at how beautiful wow I feel like super salty that I cannot remember which perfume I picked but this is really cool this is so cool how they do this like that so that they can put the scents like in the little travel thing. So this is Viva La Fleur, 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 I'm not fancy enough to say that, by Juicy Couture. I have Viva La Juicy and I think I just have the La La Couture, something like that, La Couture, something like that. When I filled out my little profile thing and it recommended this Juicy perfume, I was like, yes, I have to get it. I'll insert a picture of the bottle like right here so you can see visually what it looks like. I am going to actually put this in my purse because this will fit in my purse. And look how cute this little bag is. Look how cute that little sticker is. Adorable. Adorable, guys. So yeah, definitely go check out Scentbird. Oh my gosh, that was just, that was so nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was awesome. And that perfume is just, I feel blessed. All right, and my next box is yet another I was going to say yet another Mooncats. <laughs> it is yet another box from Mooncats.com, as you guys may have known, may know, may have known. They sent me a cashmere scarf a few weeks back and absolutely loved it. Loved doing the outfits for it. Just, just love it in general. And my mom wanted to steal it. <laughs> Now they're doing this whole thing with like cashmere scarves for the summer and people are like, oh my gosh, it's too hot for a sweater. Let me just tell you, even though I'm like sweating my brains out right now, I get freezing cold, okay? When Brandon and I are like at his mom's house and we're just like chilling in the living room, like playing Super Smash Brothers, like, you know, I get freezing, even though we're just sitting under like a ceiling fan. I don't know why, I just like get like the chills. And the same thing at the movie theater, like when we were seeing Inside Out, I got so freaking cold. And I'm just like, I don't know why. Like when I'm just like sitting still for like a long period of time, I just start to get cold. Except when I'm filming YouTube videos and then my makeup just to decides to sweat itself off. So let's see the cashmere sweater. And here's what it looks like. I have not taken this out yet. So this is a complete first impression reaction and I'm very excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. Oh my word, it is so soft. It is so soft. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's my birthday all over again. <laughs> my birthday just passed, so I literally feel like it's my birthday. Oh my that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. I would try it on right now, except for the fact that I'm so sweaty. I don't want to get sweat all over it. I am one of those people that did not grow up very wealthy, so I've never really felt anything this soft. <laughs> I grew up with my pillowcases feeling like a piece of paper. So this feels like an angel's bed up in heaven in the clouds with cotton. Oh my gosh, it's just so soft. I originally wanted the pink one, but the pink ones that were actually all sold out because I guess pink is the most popular one, which I mean, this is fine too because I feel like I'll definitely be able to create more outfits with this because the color is just, you know, blank. So this would go well with like my uh, little mint green shorts. So I definitely want to do a lookbook with this. As far as wearing it in the summer goes, I mean, I feel like, yeah, like if I go to like take a walk outside in Florida, this is not going to work. But, you know, I'm really kind of an indoorsy person anyway, so I, I could do like a lounge and about 
outfit of the day. Let me know if you'd like to see that. So I will have mooncats.com as well as Scentbird linked at the very top of the description box. Both companies absolutely amazing and like I said I get you know a couple um, product review offers each week. You know I'm not like oh she's selling out all, but I really only pick the ones that stand out to me and I feel like my viewers will enjoy as well you know because you know most of you guys are girls, most of you guys are young and if you're a dude you know like stuff for your girlfriend Girls love cashmere and perfume. Learn that. July was awesome. Uh, it was pretty awesome. And so far in August has been awesome. I'm going to be doing a birthday haul coming up soon. I'm just waiting for a few more presents to arrive. So birthday haul coming very soon. Hopefully sometime next week. And real quick before I go, I know that I usually post videos Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. But I've had a lot more free time as of recent. I've been working a lot less. So I have like so much free time now. So I'm going to be trying to post like every other day ish kind of so I'll just I don't know for now we'll kind of just leave it open I'll just post whenever I have something to post I have a lot of pre-recorded videos right now so if you see videos where I don't have highlights in my hair it's because it was pre-recorded but you know as of right now we'll just post yeah and Brandon and I have a few videos we're gonna be filming this weekend that are gonna be fun so yeah thank you guys so much for being here and listen to me ramble about stuff and I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys are having an awesome summer I will see you guys again real soon until then panda hugs I love you guys bye